Hi, I'm Scott Fajette, Product Manager for Dreamweaver. I'd like to show you a little bit about the exciting new features around jQuery Mobile that we've added into Dreamweaver. So jQuery Mobile is a very exciting development. Based upon the popular jQuery framework, jQuery Mobile is essentially a framework that helps you very quickly build mobile-specific applications. Uh, by using standard markup, you can really quickly instantiate an application interface in a matter of minutes that's very much touchscreen aware, multi-res-ware, and it gets you up and running faster than ever before. Uh, so let's take a look at what's in Dreamweaver. So to start with, you can come right into the new document dialog, and we've got mobile starter pages. We're going to choose a local jQuery mobile page using HTML5, and let's just see what this is all about. So at first glance, this doesn't look particularly visually interesting, just a bunch of divs on a page that are noted as pages. Well, what's that about? Well, when we dump, dive underneath the hood, what you can see is a jQuery mobile application is actually a little bit different than a normal web page or site. It's actually a single page that has its pages as just a series of divs within. So this div with a data roll of page is our first page. Uh, and then we've got a few more here. Now this is very powerful for Dreamweaver customers in particular and web pros in general in that, you know, as opposed to a compiled type of a framework, this lets us actually see what's going on here right in one place and it's using all the syntax and, and format that we're familiar with, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, very straightforward. The other thing that's very interesting is that editing content is just a simple matter of editing the content, much as you would in Dreamweaver. Now, whereas this isn't a very pretty interface, it's a great way for us to enter content very quickly across a series of pages, get things up and running fast. So whereas this page one, I could say my sites, and we've got page two, three, and four. I want you to pay attention to these links also. We have a, an ordered list here that's called list view with just some line items, uh, list items within that have our links. Now. The real power of jQuery Mobile being a JavaScript framework comes when you turn on Live View and can see what this actually does in, in context. By clicking that, we're already live. We've, we've got things going here in Dreamweaver's Live View, and you can see that we've got a partially working application right here without even touching a line of code. That's all there is to it. The, now, that, those line items and that unordered list have actually been turned into navigation elements here. And if we want to add anything else to the site, it's a simple matter. Let's turn off Live View, come into page two, and say, here's my page two content. Um, we can add that there. But even more exciting, we can come into the Insert panel into the jQuery Mobile tab. And what this gives us is access to all the user interface widgets that are also available in jQuery Mobile. Say, for example, we just wanted to add a slider for a form. It's a simple matter of clicking it, dropping it in, and you see the, the div and markup is placed in place. And we've got a slightly descriptive thing going on over here in Design View. But again, as we saw before, the real power comes on when we go ahead and save this. Let me go ahead and save this out, index.html. It's going to copy over all those jQuery files locally, so we've got them in our site definition. And then when I turn on Live View, we can now start clicking around and actually get to real interface widgets. The power of WebKit and Dreamweaver means that you can actually see this in context just like a real application. I can drag the slider or any other interface element, interact with my site, my application right here in context, and know that when I upload it to the web, it's going to look great on mobile devices. So this is a very basic jQuery mobile app, but we've also created a slightly more complex one that is a little bit more specific. Let me jump over quickly to my site panel and take you back to the Meridian Mobile. And what we saw was the basic vanilla application, but if you take that vanilla application and start working with Dreamweaver's built-in design tools in spec mode in live view, the CSS panel, it's very quickly to just quickly adapt the CSS into something that looks a little bit more mobile specific or specific to your project. And the good news is that by putting all this stuff in together, you get access to all that great jQuery mobile interface elements, the theming model, without really having to lift much of a finger or learn a bunch of tools besides the Dreamweaver design tools you've already become familiar with. Hope you enjoy this. By all means, pull it down, check it out. And if you have more questions about multi-screen and development in general or jQuery mobile, please stop by the Adobe Developer Center and learn more. Thanks a lot for watching today.